a moment ago. Look at the amount of battery space you've got in there. Yeah. It's humongous. Yeah, that'll take some serious lions as well, oh, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. It used to, when you throttled up... See that wandering then? Yeah. That did. <laughs> that did all right. <laughs> what went wrong on the launch? Not enough power, wasn't it? I don't think there was, no. No. More knacker. Yeah, it didn't throw it like a girl, innit? Yeah. LTE Rambler. Austin, you've got one of these, I and have, you're saying yes. the reflex isn't as bad as Nowhere the Nowhere near as bad Nowhere as, as the dark. Nowhere near. So in other words, it doesn't go out like that no, at the back? No, that's pretty much smooths out, doesn't it? Yeah. The, yeah. Ramp, the Dart XL goes like that, doesn't it? It goes right up at the back. Yeah. Right, so but, to quickly bring you up to speed is that we can't fly FPV because the Matek F765 board in the back, the camera switch is broken and no feed works. Um, so I can see in the goggles that we've got a GPS fix with 10 satellites, but I've got no picture, so it's going to have to be line of sight. So we'll do our best to just get it trimmed in. But you've been and bought one, haven't you, Yeah, I bought one. Got one on the um, early sales. It's really well made. Yeah, it's nicely made. The foam is it's such a new mould. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, sometimes you get a model a little bit later yeah. and you know it's, it's done goodness knows how many Not the easiest to... Um, I, Laminate. Yeah, exactly. It's the first one I've ever sanded in, for instance, of mm. just some 240 grit paper just for the laminate to stick to. And the, um, I will say the, the um, hinges for the controls are rubbish. rubbish. Yeah, Absolutely yeah. rubbish. I think yeah. I sneezed or something and ripped one off. Yeah, look, as you can see, that one's been off all the way yeah. along. So I have E6000, both of mine. Ah, I put laminate down mine to, mm. to make I'm going to laminate it as well. But yeah, yeah, do it. Yeah. That way. That way. That's good. Right. It's not launching horizon. <laughs> no. Should we go out there? Yeah. Right. It's got some gravity in it. It's only a 5200 pack in there, but some weight in there, isn't there? Yeah, certainly with the, a few models that have had rubbish noses for batteries, this one certainly ups your, no, your battery we size, doesn't it? We were chatting look at the amount of battery space you've got in there. Yeah. It's humongous. I got it was built for batteries, yeah. wasn't it? Well, they're saying a 4S3P yeah. is one of the op options. 6S2P or something like that. Yeah. It's nuts. Yeah. Right. And it. <laughs> Loads of thrust. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like it. Do you know what? I might stick that in Horizon. Oh, I lost the um, thing off the top. Yeah. Need a bone? Yeah, go on then. Got some gravity in it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's not that. Cool. You sure it got up and down right? We checked that, didn't we? We definitely checked it. But that went, when you went up, that went down. That is up, yeah? Yeah, just take the bits back on. Just pull up. Yeah. CG right? Uh, pins are further out, they're up here. CG's right, yeah? It's like... Massively knows everything. Well, that's moved then. Two hours later. Right, you're happy with that? Bang on. That's much better. Right, up, up top. Stabilise. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. More And that was a bit of angry wasp to. Uh... Right, where are we? Right. 
Let's get yeah. some. So let's just get this dialed in a sec. Right. It's flying lovely. I do need more. It's got some speed in it. <laughs> Looks like it. Right, I've just gone to low, medium rates now. Looks nice, doesn't it? Panning too fast. Yeah, it will tell you that for past time. Right, I want to try and get it trimmed out now, so I'm going to bring it round. Really should have brought my son in with me. Do you want to borrow mine? No, 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 it's good, it's good. Sure? Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm going to have to put this trim in manually in a minute. That's... Flying. Right. That's a beautiful profile in the sky. I'm having any orientation issues at all. I'm just a little bit worried about flying it slower at the moment. I don't know why. So Yeah, I know what you mean. Just take it up high and then see what it does. At least you've got time to react then, haven't you? Yeah. So I've done it down really low, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> why wouldn't you? Oh. Ah, it didn't sink its ass in there. You know when you can sometimes get a model yeah. and you come in and you give it too much elevator and the bottom sinks out on yeah. you? It didn't do that then. The glide's lovely on it. Well, yeah, you proved that in the slope field. Yeah, it was so not designed for the slope at all, is it? Sorry, uh, Austin. No, that's all right. Just, I'll keep it to figures of eight now. Right, that's doing absolutely lovely. The one thing which I really now need to do is to go around to the left and then bring it back towards this and flick into horizon mode. In fact, I'll do it. <laughs> and that's... absolutely nothing happened. Yeah, that's exactly what we like. So, that have you tried... Tried? W with the XL? Yeah. It used to, when you throttled up... See that wandering then? Yeah. That's that might be because the, we've all said the fin's not that big, is it? No, that was hunting then. So that's where the yeah. nose wanders from side to side. Yeah. And that really, uh, it's like, ad yeah, it's adverse yaw, while the yeah. nose is trying to work out which way it's supposed to be going. Howdy, it's Matt. I'm just adding this in during the editing stage. And what you need to look out for is that what had happened, the model would come up and around and I'd throttled down and we'd entered uh, a glide mode and because the model doesn't have enough your authority and that it was it doesn't have big enough vertical stabilizers what we saw was the model sorting itself out in the sky and you can see the nose hunting from left to right now i just want to make a point here is that obviously that's not a desirable attribute in a model airplane but there are many models which do that you just need to be aware of it you're not going to lose control uh, it's just not desirable and it's caused by a lack of your stability which is maybe you definitely do need those little black fins uh, in the side and in the background here I've probably repeated it once or twice the, the wandering side to side it's, it's called hunting it's where the nose is hunting to get straight and uh, to mention one model range which does exactly the same thing and everybody just gets on with it uh, is the nano drac the mini drac and even the full size drac all suffer from this as well uh, it, it's you, you just look out for it it's uh, one of those odd features which just happens due to lack of your stability uh, or in the right circumstances so in this instance I came round, powered off I was going into a glide uh, and the model was just hunting to find itself uh, to get itself stable again and the moment we put power back on uh, the that exhibition of the nose hunting completely disappeared I hope that makes sense. XL, when you accelerated it, rose, didn't it? Yeah. Does that do that? No. A uh, little bit, little bit. Little bit. But completely manageable, and that was all the way up to full throttle, so that might be just a trim thing, which, I, yeah. which I'm cancelled out at the moment, because I don't have, I can't see it in the goggles to see what it's really doing. No. I am halfway, not that gate at the bottom, but... <laughs> <laughs> right, slow pass through. That's all glide. It was glide from when we turned. Wow. Yeah, it's not sinking its ass in it. I like it. No. Right. That's a nice plane, that. 
Yeah, such that'll a shame take that the flight take some, screwed up. Yeah, that'll take some serious lions as well, oh, won't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not sinking its butt down. I'm yanking no. back on the sticks on purpose. And it is literally just lifting, yeah. isn't it? So all power off now, all power off. Just trying to get it in. Engine off. Happy days. That did all right. <laughs> what went wrong on the launch? Not enough power, wasn't it? I don't think there was, no. No. I think you've got to have a lot of power, personally. Yeah, I only did like quarter throttle on the first one, which felt like enough. But I think I was saying it was heavy. Yeah. It felt heavy, so... And on that last one, it absolutely... Well, he threw... I'll send it this time. <laughs> Wonder what we ended up with trim? Dunno. Yeah. I'm up... A little bit of up, isn't it? What, a millimetre on the left? Maybe a millimetre, yeah, and then quite a bit on the, on the, sorry, on the right wing, I'm up a millimetre, that one I'm up loads. But is that yeah. just to counteract the uh, prop? Possibly, yeah. It's quite a lot, isn't it? And that was bang on CG, we got Andy to check it. Yeah, yeah. Right, should we try it again? Yeah, I reckon right. so. More knacker. Yeah, don't throw it like a girl, innit? Yeah. That's, that's the basic summary. Full knacker, don't throw it like a girl. Oh, it sounds nice as well, doesn't it? Yeah, that was a nice whoosh. Yeah, so power off. That's not landing here, is it? Oh. Right. Oh. That stopped. It did stop. It's quite funny, when you've got some pace on it, yeah. it glides really well, but then when I came round there, it didn't have like enough momentum and it didn't yeah. glide that well. No. So, in summary, what have we learned? CG's critical. Yeah. And you got a throw it, full knacker, loads of thrust, like those of you, that I was on full throttle. Full, no. yeah. Full throttle, nothing can be over. It's just such... Unfortunately, we haven't got FPV in it because we'd be flying it around and oh, you'd be. We got the hoops out today. We'd hitting be gaps sticking with that hoops, easy. Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. What? One more flight to get the trim sorted out. Yeah, I reckon so. And then you'll be away. You can save all your trims and all that in iNav anyway. So when you get another board, you can just diff, copy, Oh, no, paste. I'll manually put them in. All oh, right. Yeah, I'll manually put them in. So, um, hey ho. Yeah, did all right. Yeah. Did all right. Good little plane. Yeah. So we're back over at the desk now with the LT Rambler RS. We learned an awful lot during the first couple of flights with the Rambler. Now, a couple of things for you to take away. Number one is the launch. Full throttle, full send, okay? Now, I know later on, once I've got iNav installed in here properly, uh, when I say iNav, I had an issue with the flight controller, which, by the way, Maytech were absolutely fantastic and issue resolved in four hours or less, actually. Uh, but coming back to my point is that when you go to launch yours, full throttle, full send into the sky. Uh, we did end up with a little bit of up trim, maybe two millimeters on the left wing and about a millimeter on the right wing. Look out for that. Maybe you want to preset that in your model. It's a bit of up trim, so worst case, it's going to climb a little bit more uh, and you'll need to just tweak that in for your own model. Center of gravity, uh, is absolutely key. Make sure that you put some pins up underneath the wings so you'll balance your model correctly. Uh, do do the mod, which I did on the top of mine, which is that you do get a little piece of antenna tube included with your model. Uh, I've probably already been to put a photo up on your screen just to keep that lid uh, in place. And you can see it, did, it was required a few times on those unscheduled landings. Now that note around the nose hunting, that was definitely in induced because of the way which I flew the model. Uh, and that's just the model you're in side to side uh, because we just don't have enough vertical stabilization in the model. Uh, and But saying that, in a straight line, doing normal moves mucking around, 
absolutely fine. It was literally just when I brought it round, powered off, and it came down, and it was just sneaking across there. I, like I said earlier, there's a couple of other models which do that very frequently, uh, and you, you, it was the right circumstances to cause it. So, but with that in mind, these funny little plastic things, uh, which I wasn't going to put in, but decided that they were pretty cool, do put them in on your model, okay? Because any effect which these have is definitely going to be a positive effect. Now, with that said, double thumbs up for Matt. I, I just, I'm, I'm itching to fly this one FPV. You saw the HD footage, which was in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, and you can see it was really smooth in the sky, and that was without any stabilization at all, just for that moment or two when we had horizon mode enabled. So, really looking forward to getting this one out FPV. That I'm sorry that does mean we'll do a follow-up video uh, and on that note is that don't forget to press the red subscribe button and of course press the bell notification so that YouTube updates you when the next video is out because we could be out flying this one FPV. I'm actually recording this a day or two later after we took it out for its maiden uh, and like I said that the issue which I had with the Maytech flight controller all in done and dusted four hours wrapped up. I have the brand new board's been and arrived here today uh, and I'm going to get this one set up because I've got all the settings literally from the pre previous one uh, and it will just be a very very quick install and later on this weekend I'll get it out and I cannot wait to share some FPV footage with you because this is where this model really is going to come into its own. It's one thing chucking it off a slope and if you didn't know that I'll put a link in the top right hand corner for you. It's a real maiden was thrown off a slope saw inside and it did ridiculously well. So do check out that video. Uh, and then we had this maiden on normal proper maiden flight around sensibly uh, <laughs> on Monday. Uh, and then this Saturday and Sunday I'm out flying. So uh, I will make sure I get you some FPV footage of this one because I think this is where this model really is gonna shine because just look at the size of that battery bay absolutely insane. Any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comments section underneath this video here over on YouTube. Uh, I also just want to make this one point. I want to say a big thank you to Banggood. Uh, they did send this model here to review uh, and I've tried my best to include as much real life of the learning experience so that we can both learn together with this model. It was a little bit of an unknown when it first turned up now that we've got it out, I just can't wait to get it out and fly FPV. So look out for a follow-up episode very, very shortly. On that note, for myself, Matt, a huge thank you to you for taking the time to join me here. Uh, and over on the flight line with Austin, thumbs up. Thank you, Austin, for being the cameraman for the maiden in this one. Andy for giving us that launch as well. And for you to join me here at the workbench, over on the flight line, to enjoy some new foam. So with that said, for myself, Matt, cheerios.